Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is the quick look at Wi-Fi 6 or uh, what is the latest Wi-Fi certification. Wi-Fi is a part of most of our homes now as it's uh, a way of wirelessly connecting all of our devices that we have at home. It's incredible how Wi-Fi has advanced over the years and how it has changed the way that we actually use our devices. So Wi-Fi 6, and you might be saying, yeah, but what was Wi-Fi 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and, well, here's the thing. It's the first time we use numbers for Wi-Fi. Why? Because companies kind of understood that nobody understood whatever device it was, an N and G, a B or whatever, it had no sense. You didn't know what B was and G was and N was and was it better or not? You kind of didn't really know much about it. And of course, 802.11. whatever didn't really help. So they uh, rebranded Wi-Fi as now numbers, which means Wi-Fi 6 is the latest and they have rebranded the other ones so that means if you have the last generation Wi-Fi it's Wi-Fi 5 it's officially numbered and yes there's Wi-Fi 4, 3, 2 and so on Wi-Fi 6 is at number 6 because it's the 6th generation of 802.11 Wi-Fi devices and it's the latest, greatest but here's the thing we're going to talk about if it's really much better or not so, Wi-Fi 6 now certified, that means that you have to get two devices that are Wi-Fi 6 in order to work. So that means your router needs to be upgraded to get Wi-Fi 6, but your devices that you use also need to be upgraded with Wi-Fi 6, or else you're stuck at an older Wi-Fi standard. The last standard that we had, Wi-Fi 5, was 802.11.ac. Um, There's no dot. 802.11ac. That's what I have. That's what I own as a device here at home. And a lot of devices I own actually connect to that new standard, that standard, which is a very fast standard already. Wi-Fi 6 is 802.11ax, and it is technically much faster but you know what? In technology, there's always a catch. The numbers versus the reality is often very, very different. And you'll understand a little more. And I'll have another video talking about Wi-Fi because I think it's uh, important to know. Here is the basics of what all of this is. Wi-Fi 6 has technically a maximum output of 10 gigabits per second. Yeah, you heard me right. 10 gigabits per second. But in reality, you're probably going to be very, very far from that. A lot of the tests that I've seen actually seem to show that you might get 1.5 to 2 gigabits per second in the best circumstances using two Wi-Fi 6 devices. What Wi-Fi 6 devices also have is improved security with the way that the security certificates actually work. You know, there's been some uh, worrying uh, in the past year or two because of um, bugs that actually made it possible to snoop on our packets from, um, you know, even WPA2 uh, devices uh, in certain circumstances. Well, the Wi-Fi 6 actually improves upon this security and makes it even more difficult to go through. So that's a good thing. But as you'll see in the next video where we talk about should you get a new Wi-Fi 6 device, where all of this is all about. Now Wi-Fi 6 uh, routers are available. Devices, some devices are getting on the market with that. For example, the latest uh, Note 10 from Samsung is Wi-Fi 6 certified. iPhone 11 is Wi-Fi 6 certified and eventually you'll buy new devices that have Wi-Fi 6 certified hardware in them. But the thing is, is as long as you don't have any Wi-Fi 6 devices, it's useless to buy Wi-Fi 6 
routers. And they are expensive because they are brand new and they have a new way of working. In the next video, we're going to explain a little more about why you should or should not have a Wi-Fi 6 router and uh, hope that you enjoyed these videos. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.